I pride myself on being myself. I'm very silly. I'm goofy. I can guarantee you'll feel good, and I guarantee I'm gonna tell you to like put your foot in your ear, which is not what I mean. So let's have a good time and get moving. And then allow your forehead, your elbows, and everything to relax into the floor. And stay down. I'm just gonna lift my head so I don't sound muffled talking into my mat. But allow yourself to let go. Allow your hips to really sit back onto your feet. Spread your fingers and allow your palms to rest onto your mat so there's not much work going on. Child's pose is a really nice restorative pose, but it'll also start to open up our hips, get into our glutes a little bit. And then we'll lift our elbows. So we started with our elbows down on the mat. Go ahead and lift your elbows and walk your hands as far forward as you can reach. Like there's a pot of gold at the tippy top of your mat and we want it especially right now. So we're reaching forward. And then I want you to walk your hands over to the right until they come off of your mat. So we're gonna start to stretch our left side body. Hands begin to move over to the right and you can create a long angle. Place your left hand on top of your right and then allow your forehead to rest back onto your mat or onto your arm. Keep your hips and your legs exactly as they were. And this will feel really good in the left side body, especially for those of us who are kind of just waking up on this beautiful Sunday morning. So keep stretching and start to just send your attention to your breath. Breathing in through your nose and out through your nose as well, if that's available to you. And we're gonna take it through center over to the other side. So walk your hands through center, take it over to the left until you get a nice stretch in the right side body. Place your right hand on top of your left hand. And that feels really good. I hope you're going along with that. And let's revisit that breath, breathing in through the nose and out through the nose, Ujjayi breath. Let's walk our hands back through center. And we'll press ourselves up to a tabletop position. And in tabletop, we're looking to stack our shoulders over our wrists and to stack our hips over our knees. Our knees are about hips distance apart, so they're not right next to each other. We're gonna take a few rounds of cat and cow. So for cow pose, we're gonna drop our belly down to the earth, look up, start our heart shines forward. And then for cat pose, we're gonna do the opposite motion with our spine rounding our back, tucking our tailbone in, and dropping our chin to chest. And then you move at your pace with your breath. On your inhale, find cow, dropping the belly down, lifting the head. And on your exhale, not mine, you round your back, tuck that tailbone in again. And move through those two poses two more times, inhaling for cow. Really go through the range of motion with your spine and exhale for cat pose. And let's do that one more time together. Inhale, drop it down for cow. And exhale, let that go for cat pose. Come into a neutral spine. Keep those wrists under the shoulders. And then I want you to lift your right knee, hover it above the mat. And we're gonna do some hip circles, starting moving forward. So you're gonna bring your right knee forward. Bring it open to the right, kick your foot behind you, and then bring your right knee back to center. And you keep it hovered the whole time. So let's do that a little faster. Moving forward, out to the side, kicking behind and back to center. And then forward to the side, behind, back to center. Forward, out to the side, behind, we be back at center. One more time, bring it forward, out, behind, and back to center. Rest your right knee back onto your mat, and then hover your left knee. We'll do the same thing. Bring it forward, out to the side, kick it back, and bring it back to center. Forward to the elbow, out to the side, kick it behind, and back to center. Bring it forward, side, back, center, and then take it a little faster, just creating a circular motion with the body. One more time, and bring that left knee down to your mat. We're gonna do the opposite motion on the right side. So we start kicking back, opening to the side, bringing it forward and back down. And now 
we have the motion, so keep going back to the side, forward and down, twice more, back to the side, forward to the elbow, back down, one more, back to the side, forward and bring it down. Same thing on the left side, we'll kick it back, out to the side, come forward and back to the knee, and back to the side, forward, back to the knee, twice more, a little bit faster, great. And don't forget your breath. Bring that left knee down to match the right. We'll come into spinal balance. So let's see what you got. Extend that left leg behind you. And we'll start with our toe connected to the mat. Extend your right arm forward. Spread those fingers. And then activate the core. Suck that belly button in towards the spine. Use that core to lift the back leg. And instead of pointing the toe, we're going to flex our foot toward the ground. There's an option to stay here with both your arm pointing forward and your leg pointing back, or there's an option to swing that left leg around, keep it lifted high, and extend your right arm out to the side. Work on that balance. Can you lift the left leg any higher, you guys? Let's see. Whoop! I think you can, and I know you can. Extend that right leg forward, left leg comes behind. And now we point the toe. So point the toe behind you. Take an inhale, breath get long. Good breath on your exhale. Hug everything in the center. Squeeze the elbow and the knee in. Inhale, reach, find length. Exhale, bring it in, knee to elbow. Squeeze to center. Inhale, find length. Whoop, whoop. Exhale, bring it in. One more. Inhale, reach, reach, reach. Exhale, squeeze and hold. Can you get that elbow, can you get that knee higher to the elbow? Boop, 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 doop, doop. Yes, you can. And inhale, reach long, hold. Option to bend the left knee here. Reach back with your right hand, grab any part of your foot that you can get, and then kick that left foot up to the ceiling. Continue to breathe. Continue to know that you are killing this. And then release that left leg. Extend your right arm forward. Bring your hand and your knee back down to the ground. And we're going to switch over to the other side. Extend your right leg behind you. Hey, zoom. Extend your left arm forward. And then work that core, right? We can't do it without the belly muscles. Lift that right leg and point those toes to the ground. Keep looking forward. There's an option on this side to extend the left arm to the left and that right leg to the right. Whoop, whoop. Can you get that right leg higher? Yes, yes you can. Bring that right leg behind, left arm forward. Point your toes, take an inhale, breath to prepare. Exhale, hug it all into center, squeeze. Inhale, reach long, find length. Exhale, hug it into center. Inhale, reach. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, find length. Exhale, we hold, get that right knee higher. Keep on squeezing into center. Inhale, reach fine length. Option to stay or bend your right knee. Reach back with your left hand for any part of the foot and kick that foot up and out. Can you get it any closer to the ceiling? Go ahead and release. Left hand forward, right leg behind. Come back into tabletop position. Take two cat cows here for our spine. So inhale, cow, drop that belly. Exhale, cat, round, round, round. Inhale, cow pose, drop the belly, look forward. And exhale, find your cat, round that spine. Come into a neutral spine. We're going to take a quick puppy pose. So keep your hips stacked over your knees. 
and walk your hands as far forward as you can reach. Start to lower maybe your head, maybe your chin, maybe your chest touches the ground. It's all up to you. And our practice looks different in everybody. That's the beautiful thing. We are all different. So don't try to look like your teacher. Don't try to look like your neighbor. Try to look like yourself. That's the best version of you that you can get. Keep reaching the hands forward. Find rest in this pose. There's not too much going on, but it feels really good. Revisit that breath, breathing in through your nose and out through your nose. And then inhale, start to lift the head, lift the chest. Walk your hands back into tabletop position. We're gonna take downward facing dog, so tuck those toes. We should be nice and ready. Start to lift the knees, send the tailbone up nice and high. Press the heels down toward the earth, and we're looking to create an upside down V shape with our bodies. And let's pedal out our dog since it's the first one of the morning. You're gonna bend your right knee a lot and press your left heel down to the earth. And then bend your left knee a lot, press the right heel down. Keep switching, bend that right knee, left heel presses to the earth. And then bend your left knee, right heel presses down. One more time with each side. Bend your right knee, press that left heel down. And then bend your left knee, press your right heel down. Now we press both heels down at the same time. Feet are hips distance apart. Our fingers are spread. Our ears and our head are in between our biceps. Keep your back and your tailbone pressing up and then keep your heels pressing down. Breathe in through your nose here. Let it out through the mouth. And then do that again. Breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Roll onto your tip, tippy toes and you're gonna tiptoe forward until you're at the top of your mat. So tiptoe heels stay up. Once you're at the top of your mat, drop the heels, find a halfway lift, bring your hands to your shins, get a nice flat back here, and then we're gonna expand the chest by pressing our shoulder blades in towards each other. Open up the chest. Exhale, we fold forward. Weight comes forward. Right now your weight is probably in the heel of your foot, Bring it to the ball of your foot, find a forward fold. And then we'll take rag doll, grabbing opposite elbows here. Make this pose yours. So grab opposite elbows, let your head hang heavy, but let it be lightweight as well. Not a lot going on. Feet are still hips distance apart. You can nod your head, yes or no. You can swing your body gently from side to side. Make this pose and make this practice yours. So that is our ragdoll. And we fold forward, release your hands toward the earth. And you're gonna let them hang. We're gonna rise to standing vertebrae by vertebrae. So slowly making our way up. Let your head, neck, and hands be the last things to lift. Taking your time to get there. Once you're there, inhale, sweep the arms up and overhead. Look up to the ceiling like you can see straight through it to the beautiful blue sky. And then exhale your hands to heart center. Press your thumbs up against your chest. Close your eyes for a moment. Set your intention for this morning's practice. I want you to do everything for a purpose. We do everything, we should do everything for a specific reason. What do you want to get out of this morning's practice? How do you want to feel? Do you need to let go of something? Or do you need to just move your body and bring in new energy? Collect the good vibes, take on this positive energy. It's the start of a new week, new blessings, new opportunities. So let this fuel you for your day. Give it all that you've got. Once that intention is set, inhale, sweep the arms up and overhead. Bring the palms to touch on your exhale, fold forward, let go. 
Inhale, halfway lift, find a flat back. And then exhale, we take high plank for our first one. So we'll show you a couple chaturanga modifications. Christy's gonna do full chaturanga for the first one, and I'm gonna show you a modified chaturanga with the knees down and the feet up. Meet yourself where you are. So you're either in traditional plank or your knees are down, weight is forward. Either way, your shoulders are over your wrist. We're gonna shift our weight forward, low down into a low push-up position. And once you find the 90 degree bend in the arms, drop the top of the feet. Find cobra or up dog, it's your choice. I'm gonna take up dog, Ooh. It was amazing, and then exhale, roll over the top of the feet for downward facing dog. Press those heels down. On our next inhale, we're gonna press forward to high plank. Inhale, shift your weight forward, high plank. On your exhale, press it back, downward facing dog. Press up and back. And let's do that again. Inhale, shift forward, high plank. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Send it back. And again, inhale, shift forward, high plank. Chaturanga or just lower knees, chest and chin. Weight forward, low push-up position, untuck the toes. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, press it up and back. Bend your knees a lot, look forward. You can walk, you can step, or you can jump to the front of your mat. Get there how you wish. Inhale, halfway lift, hands find shins. Exhale, fold forward, let go. Big sweep of the arms for high mountain. Rise up, breathe in fresh air. Exhale, fold forward, let that go. Inhale, halfway lift, hands find shins. Exhale, you can jump back like Christy or step back into Chaturanga, lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's do it again, bend the knees, look forward, walk, step, or jump. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, let go. High mountain, rise up tall, tall, tall. Exhale, fold again. Stay with me. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step your right foot back. <laughs> and I will always throw you off. I don't go through normal sun styles. I just throw things. We are alive and going at it. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Sweep the chest up. Reach back. Exhale, frame your left foot with your hands. Tuck the back toe, step forward. So we're coming forward. Inhale, halfway lift, hands find shins. Exhale, fold forward, release. High mountain, rise up to standing. Woo -woo. Exhale, fold forward, let go. Inhale, halfway lift. Step your left foot back, low lunge. So left foot steps back, drop the knee, untuck the toes. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Take it back. Exhale, frame your right foot with your hands. Tuck your back toes, step into high plank. Always throwing you off, I just like to throw people up. <laughs> Chaturanga, shift forward, lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Bend those knees, look forward, jump to the front. Inhale, halfway lift, beautiful. Exhale, fold. High mountain, rise on up to standing. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank. So you're gonna go through a little plank series, and I'll show you modifications. First is gonna be side plank on the right. So you get two different views since we're facing two different ways. Side plank on the right, option one is traditional. Your legs are stacked. Option two, you place your left foot in front. If this is not available, drop your right knee, swing your right foot back to give you balance, and you can lift your left leg to add a challenge. So we got a couple options, both the same pose. Side plank on the right, beautiful, Christy, beautiful. So from side plank on the right, keep your hips lifted away from the mat, and then we're gonna take a side forearm plank on our left, so the opposite side. Come through a high plank, line your left forearm up with the top edge of your mat, and then shift your weight over to the left, extend your right arm up. 
side forearm plank on the left. Keep those hips lifted. Now we're gonna do a traditional a forearm plank. So both arms come down. Instead of lining up the top, they line up with the edges of our mat. Hips stay in line with our shoulders. And then we're gonna take a dolphin. So send your hips high. Walk your feet forward towards your body. Option to lift the right leg. Option to kick it into a forearm headstand, forearm handstand. If you would like a forearm stand is what that is. <laughs> Beautiful. Right leg comes down. Walk your feet back into your forearm plank. We find high plank leading with the right hand. So right hand lifts us up, left hand lifts us up. We're gonna go right into the other side, side plank on the left. Shift your weight over to the left. Remember your knee can be down, left foot is back, and lift your right leg. This is a modification. Side forearm plank on the right. So come through a high plank. Line your right forearm up with the top edge of your mat. Shift your weight over to the right and lift that left leg. Option to lift and play around here. And keep the hips lifted away from the mat. Traditional forearm plank. So come down. Both arms can be down. If you're like me, because sometimes I make fists in forearm plank, that's okay. I really hate forearm plank, but we're going to do it. <laughs> and then let's find off and lift those hips. Walk your feet into your hands. Lift the left leg this time. Option to take it up into a forearm stand. Just an option, right? Beautiful, crispy. Take it back into forearm plank. This time we find high plank with the left hand. Left hand guides us up. Right hand guides us up. Chaturanga or lower knees, chest and chin. Squeeze the elbows in. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Move it back, we're gonna walk our hands to our feet. Take it back, hands to feet. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, high mountain rise up. Exhale, forward fold. Take it back down. Bring your feet together. Your big toes touch, your heels are apart. Fingers stay down, sink the hips low. Inhale, sweep the arms up for chair pose. And if you're like me, I naturally stand up out of it. Sink back down into it. Lift all 10 toes off of the mat. And then press all 10 toes down. Lift your heels off of the mat. Sink lower. Airplane arms, bring your arms behind. Chest lifts. Option for drinking bird, lowering the chest. Heels stay up, keep them up. Beautiful birds. I think I'm a hummingbird. What are you, Christy? I think I'm a hummingbird. You are such a hummingbird, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna sweep our arms up and stand all the way up. Sweep the arms up, stand all the way up. Let that go, lean back, find the back bend. And then exhale, fold forward, release. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, walk your hands out to a high plank. Chaturanga or knees, chest and chin. Squeeze elbows in, inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. <laughs> Bend your knees, look forward, walk, step or jump. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. High mountain rise on up to standing. Exhale, hands to heart center. So we're gonna turn to face you guys. Hey Debbie, and do some balance poses. I always start with the one that people have seen the most, which is tree pose. We got a couple ways to add one to tree. Simple, if you're really new to tree, you can start at the ankle by bringing your right foot to your left ankle. Another option is to bring it up, if this is super easy, 
Hands can be at heart or open up your arms. Another option is to come to your calf. Hands can stay here or open up. A third option is to bring it up above the knee. So we never want to be on our knee, so make sure you're above it or below it. Hands are at your heart or open up. Continue pressing this right knee away from the body, opening it up to the right. So a couple options here. One way to challenge yourself in tree is to close your eyes. No matter how talented you are, taking away one of your senses always kind of adds to your tree. So let's take a, <laughs> close those eyes. <laughs> And then open up the eyes. Something else we can do is release our right hand to our right knee. Let your palm face up. Reach your left arm up and out. And then we're gonna find a little bend. We're gonna bend to the right. Our hip shoots out to the left. And see if you can maintain that, keeping the foot pressing into the calf or the leg, whatever you're pressing into. Stand all the way up. Let it go. I march it out in between, and we're gonna go right into our left side. So you can find tree at your ankle, your calf, or bring it all the way up above the knee. Same thing, just a different side. Press that left knee out. Hands rest at your heart center, or open up those arms, and you can close your eyes. Challenge. <laughs> but think about that ankle and think about the inner arch of your foot and keep pressing that inner arch into the floor. Open up your eyes. Release your left hand to your left thigh with the palm facing up. Reach that right arm up and then we're going to bend to our left. And sometimes our pants are just slippery, so don't beat yourself up. <laughs> sometimes our balance isn't good. <laughs> Your balance is amazing. <laughs> Come back to center. Release your left leg down to the ground. We're going to march it out. All right, we'll turn back this way, but we're going to continue on with balance. I want you to come into an airplane pose. So we're going to keep our left leg strong. That's going to be the standing leg. Extend your right foot behind you. Let just your big toe touch the mat. That way we know our weight is already in our left leg. We got a couple options actually. Warrior three, your arms are in front. Airplane, your arms are behind. So I'll give you your choice, Yogi's choice. Forward or back, whatever you want. I'm gonna take warrior three. Chrissy's gonna do airplane. Gentle bend in your front leg. Go ahead and lift that back foot off of the floor. Lower the chest. Arms stay behind for airplane or stay forward for warrior three. And watch my inner arch. So what happens in balance is we start to tilt our leg one way or the other. I am actively pressing my inner arch back into the floor to keep me steady. We're gonna find some movement in a second and bring our right knee forward. So start to stand on up and bring your right knee forward. Try not to touch the ground, challenging ourselves like when we were kids. And then open your left arm to the left. Bring your right hand to your right knee. Open that right knee to the right, or you can take your big toes, peace finger to the big toe, and open up. <laughs> if you're in standing knee, Keep your foot flexed. Turn your body back to center. Extend your arms up by your ears. Standing staff, extend your right leg forward and then lift it higher than you want to. So we're gonna keep playing the game of not touching the floor. Bring your right foot into tree pose. Find your tree above the knee or under the knee. Hands at heart or open up. Go ahead and release, let that go. Right leg comes down. I always give my legs a little break in between poses. 
You're gonna extend your left leg behind you. Right leg is the standing sturdy leg now. So left leg extends behind. Our weight is already in our front leg. Just the big toe is touching. And you can take warrior three or airplane with the arms behind. Let's lift that back foot off of the floor. Arms reach forward, forward, forward for warrior three. Gentle bend in our standing leg so we're not locking the knee out. You can also just play around with transitioning between the two poses of airplane and warrior three. We're gonna move into our standing knee raise or standing toe lock. So bring that leg forward, do not touch the ground if you can. Extend your right arm open to the right. Take your left hand to your knee or your toes and then open that left leg out to the left. Turn that left knee back to center. Open up your arms by your ears. Standing staff, extend your left leg forward, lift that leg higher. Good, Christy, nice and high. Find your tree pose, bringing that left foot to your calf or up above the knee. Hands rest at your heart or open up your branches. Go ahead and release, let that left leg come down to the ground. Give your legs a little break. We have one more balance pose and then we're gonna work through some legs and some arms, a little bit of core. So, uh, kind of similar to what we just did, but we're gonna add a twist and we're gonna stay at the, no, you can do your toe if you would like. Uh, bring your right knee to hips tight. Before our right hand was there, this time we're gonna take our left hand there. You can take your left hand to your big toe. Bring your right hand to your hip to guide your torso open to the right. Extend your right arm behind you. And then turn back to look at your thumb. Good balance, Christy. Good balance, you guys at home. <laughs> Copper Mom family. Bring your hand back to your right hip. Turn the torso around, let go of that right foot. Give yourself a pat on the back of the girl. <laughs> and then you're gonna lift that left leg, go right into your other side. Take your right hand to your knee or your big toe. Whatever part of your foot you can grab, really. Left hand to left hip, turn around. Extend that left arm behind. Turn to look back at your thumb. Good work. Bring your left hand back to your hip. Let it guide your chest back forward. Let that left leg come down to the mat. Give your legs a little break. Ooh. I'm giving you two peace fingers because you did great. Inhale, <laughs> reach those arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Good, good. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. I think my feet are frozen to the ground. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, chaturanga. You can jump back, shoot back, step back, or lower knees, chest and chin. Let's come through. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good job. Bring your feet together at the back of your mat. Three-legged dog on the right. Lift that right leg nice and high. And then bend your right knee. Bring your foot to your bottom. Open up those hips. Try to stack your right hip over top of your left hip. And then if you look at my shoulders, what most people do when we open up, we turn our shoulders. So let's square our shoulders off so they're still facing forward. Option to flip your dog by bringing your right foot all the way over to the left side of the mat. Beautiful, crispy. And if you're ready and want to take it into wheel, feel free to take it into wheel. Or you can stay in a flip dog. We'll turn back around, meet in downward facing dog. 
Extend your right leg up to the sky. Let's take a knee to elbow. So bring your right knee through, tap above the right elbow, and then three-legged dog, kick back with the right leg. Knee to nose, come through center, round the back. Try to get the knee as high as you can. And then kick it back, press it up to the sky. Come across the chest, knee to left elbow. So crossing at the chest, option to bring that right foot through. Take a fallen star, a fallen triangle, whatever you would like. Come back into a high plank. Press up into downward facing dog. Bring your feet together at the back of the mat. This time our left leg lifts high, same thing. Bend that left knee, open up the hips. Stack the hips and you can stay. Or you can flip your dog. Beautiful dog into wheel, Christy. And if you want to take it into wheel and you're ready to do so, please do. Bring it back into down, three-legged dog, excuse me. Extend that left leg long. Left knee to left elbow, come through center. Tap above. Kick it up. Left knee to nose, come through center, round that back. And kick it up. Come across the chest. Left knee to right elbow. You can stay or drop. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we can't You're help touching. it. We love each other in yoga. <laughs> but we have to social distance. All right, come into high plank. Lower knees, chest and chin. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Bring your feet together. Right leg lifts high. Crescent lunge. Step your right foot in between your hands. Inhale, reach the arms up, lift the chest. Bend into your front leg. Hands to heart center. Find a long torso with long chest, and we're going to twist to our right. So bring that left elbow, hook it over the right knee. Get it as far over the right leg as you can. And then press the palms together to twist a little bit more. Option to split the arms. Option to take a bind. Keep pressing to twist. Bring the hands together. Turn your chest back to center. Reach your arms forward, chest is right over the thigh. We're gonna take a standing split, bring your hands down to the ground, bend into that left leg to kick it up, straighten the front leg. Option to keep hands at the top of the mat or to walk your hands to your right angle. Bring your hands back down to the ground. We're gonna take a Shiva squat. So you're gonna bend into that front leg, bend your left knee, bring it behind your right knee, and then kick it back up, standing split. Shiva squat, bring it down, tap left knee to right knee, and kick it up. One more Shiva squat. Bring your hands to your heart. Stand all the way up onto that right foot. Lift the left knee. Let go. Beautiful. Give your legs a little break. Ooh, ooh, I'm extra, so I'm for this little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. You can step back, jump back, twerk back, whatever you want to do. You can lower down or chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, bring the feet together. Lift that left leg high. 
crescent lunge. Step it through between the hands. Inhale, sweep the arms, sweep the chest. Bend into that front leg. Hands to heart center. Find length, look forward, twist to the left. Option to split hands, option to find, option to make it yours. Twist a little deeper to your left. And then to that front leg. You can release your bind, send your arms forward, chest and belly right over the left thigh. Hands come down for standing split on the left. Our right leg kicks up. Option to keep your hands as they are or walk them into your left ankle. Squat, bend your left knee, bring that right knee in to tap the back of the left knee, and then kick the right leg up. And then again, Shiva squat, bend into that front leg, kick it up on the last one, we hold. Bend, bring your hands to heart center. Stand all the way up onto your left leg, woo! Bring the right leg up. Step it down. Give your legs a little break. Give yourself a pat on the back. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold, release. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank or chaturanga. Flow through, meet me in down dog. Option for half pigeon or double pigeon. Christy will demonstrate Half pigeon, I'm gonna demonstrate double pigeon for you guys. Half pigeon on the right, right leg comes forward. You're trying to keep your right knee to the right side of your mat and your right foot to the left side of your mat. Left leg is long behind you. You can stay up on the palms or you can come to your forearms. And the third option is to come flat onto your chest, but do whatever works for you. For double pigeon, Line the right shin up with the front edge of your mat. Right leg is on the bottom. Then we're going to stack ankle over knee and knee over ankle. So, knee over ankle, ankle over knee. It'll look different on everybody. You can stay up with your hands at your side. You can reach your arms forward in front of you. Or you can find a bend. Whatever pose you're in, whether it's half pigeon or double pigeon, just remember to flex your feet. So we've moved through the vinyasa portion of our class. We're going to come into more of the yin. I hope all of you beautiful copper mind people are staying safe and staying well at home. I know that it kind of sucks to be stuck in the house, but it's not about us at this point. It's about taking care of everyone else around you. So just take this as like you got a couple days off of work to work on whatever you want to work on and focus on what you want to focus on and find your passion and find what you enjoy. If you're in half pigeon, you can start to press up onto your palms, walk your hands in towards the body, and then everyone, well, this is our right leg, regardless of what pose you're in, bring your left knee to the heel of your right foot. Plant your right hand right next to your right hip, and then we're gonna sweep our left arm up. As we sweep up, we're gonna lift our hips forward, find the small back bend. Keep pressing up and reaching back. 
and then drop the hips, come to a seated position. We're gonna swing our left leg around for either half pigeon or double pigeon. So for half pigeon, left leg swings around, right leg comes behind, your left foot is over to the right side of your mat and left knee is to the right side of your mat. For double pigeon, line that left shin up with the top edge, place ankle over knee and knee over ankle. You can stay up on your palms, you can lower down to forearms or lower flat to your chest. And then for double pigeon, you can stay seated tall, you can drape your arms and start to fold, or you can fold all the way down. And this is the part of yoga when the practice more so comes to your mind rather than your body. Your body isn't moving too much, so there's not too much to focus on. However, I want you to keep your attention on you, keep your attention on your breath, and try not to let the brain just travel on to wherever it wants to go. There's so many places, all of the places you'll go, as our friend Dr. Sue said. <laughs> <laughs> if you let that mind wander, it will go, go, go. But pull it back in, rein it in. You are in control at all times, no matter what it feels like. You are in control of your mind and your body. And you can practice that control through yoga. So it is Sunday morning. Copper Mind is in our large array of wonderful teachers. Christy teaches uh, yoga sculpt here. She's amazing. Uh, everyone will be teaching some kind of class. We're going to keep you moving and keep you active throughout this time. So keep tuning into Zoom, keep tuning into Facebook Live. We're going to keep you guys moving and make sure you're not bored in the house. If you're in half pigeon, go ahead and start to lift on up. Walk your hands in towards the body. We'll do that on the other side. If you're in double pigeon, release that right foot to your left heel. If you're in half pigeon, release it as well. Place your left hand by your left hip, reaching up with the right arm. So right arm sweeps up. We reach up and back, send the hips forward. So I'm not just lifting and staying, I'm actively pressing the hips forward to allow me to lean back. Good, come back to a seat on your mat. We're gonna bring both legs forward for a second. Yes, please. So we got a couple options here. I'll show you the lotus. I mean, Christy will show you the lotus and I'll show you a uh, seated tree, but I'll start in lotus together because I want you to try it and then if you can't, we'll go back. So we're gonna extend our left leg long. We're gonna find half lotus with our right foot. So right foot comes up onto our left thigh. If you can, because naturally your right knee is probably jutting out to the right. If you can bring your right knee forward, bring that right knee forward. And then place your left hand over top of your left foot for just your right foot for a moment. We're gonna find a half a bind by bringing our right hand behind us, wrap it around your back and try to grab for your foot. It's a-okay if you can't get the foot, you can grab your hip, you can grab your shirt, you can grab whatever you need. But if you can grab your foot in this pose, grab that right foot, reach the left arm up. We're gonna find a toe lock with our left foot. So wrap your peace fingers around the toe. Inhale, sit up tall. On your exhale, you fold forward. Another option is half a tree. So you're bringing your right foot inside of your thigh. And we'll work on lotus later. And you still find that half bind, wrapping that right arm, grabbing your hip, your thigh, whatever you can reach. And find a toe lock. Same pose, working all the same things just a different modification of it. We won't stay for too long. Then lift your head and chest release that left toe bring your left arm in front of your foot so it doesn't just spring out wildly then release that half a bind extend your right leg forward 
I just pedal it out and we're gonna go right into the other side. Since we know what we're doing now, Chrissy's gonna continue in Lotus and I will show you in Tree. Right leg is long, left leg comes inside or on top of the thigh. Find that half bind with the left arm behind this time. Grabbing the foot, your, your hip, your shirt, your back, whatever you can reach. Find that toe lock. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, we fold. It's so nice to be back with all of you guys. I teach this class in real life every Sunday at 9 a.m. and I'd be happy to have you join me virtually while we're virtual and then in person when we're able to all come back together again. Go ahead and lift your head, lift your chest, release that right foot, bring your right hand in front of your left foot and then release your bind. Send both legs forward for a moment we're going to turn long ways on our mat for Supta Baddha Konasana. Let's bring the soles of your feet together and lower down onto your back. You can also take a butterfly, which Christy was doing, uh, bringing her hands around her feet. But at first, Supta Baddha Konasana, just lower down onto your back. Feet together, knees separate. Bring one hand to your belly. Bring the opposite hand to your heart center. And I do this with every class that I teach. I want you to close your eyes for a moment and just take on a moment of gratitude. With so much going on in the universe, it's easy to feel woe is me or to start to worry, but we have so much to be grateful for, just from the breath in our body, from eyes to be able to see, ears to be able to hear, bodies to be able to move, to be able to breathe and be healthy. We are not stuck in a hospital. We are blessed. Hopefully you have a roof over your head. If you're watching this, you have internet and a phone or a laptop, like that's a blessing. That's not just mandatory things, even though it feels like it. There are so many people who don't have those things. So take this moment to just be grateful amongst whatever is going on. You are so blessed. Bring your knees together. We're gonna to take a figure four. Bring your right ankle to your left thigh, flex your foot. You can keep your legs on the mat or you can clasp your hands together behind the left leg. I'm gonna flex both of your feet. And then extend your left leg up to the ceiling. Let your toes point down towards you. If you follow directions, you will come into figure four twist by bending your left knee and lowering your left foot to the ground. Keep that right foot where it is. Open up your arms to the shape of a T. And then we twist. Let your legs drop over to the left and turn your head over to the right. You can turn your head to look at your right palm and then close your eyes. Both shoulders press equally into the mat. Let the palms face up open and ready to receive. Whatever this week is throwing your way, good things and blessings.
Turn your body back to center. Lower the right foot. Figure four on the left. Take your left ankle to that right thigh. Open up the arms once again. Let your legs drop over to the right. And then you're going to turn your head over to the left. Go ahead and turn your body back to center. Lower your left foot. Bring the heels in for a quick bridge pose. So bring the heels in. Place your palms down by your feet. Make sure you can actually tap the back of your ankle with your toes. Plant your palms into the mat. And then go ahead and lift your hips. Send them up to the sky. You can tuck your shoulders underneath of you. And then clasp your hands together. Use that to lift a little bit higher. Option to take it into a wheel pose by placing your palms by your head and then lifting into wheel as Christy is demonstrating so wonderfully. And if your kids are with you, kids do that really easily. Have your kids take a go at wheel pose. Keep lifting toward the sky. We'll stay up for five or as long as you want. Three. And one, take your time if you want to stay, but when you're ready, slowly lower down. Untuck your shoulders, allow your legs to fall long on your mat. And then inhale, reach the arms up and overhead behind you. Turn the palms in to face one another. Extend your right leg long, extend your left leg long, find even more length. Take a breath in to prepare. And then on your exhale, sit up into boat pose. So we have a couple options for boat. One is the legs are straightened, arms are up by your ears. Another, the knees are bent, arms are kind of facing forward. All the same. Some people like to do one leg straight, one leg bent. Make this your boat pose. Lower down halfway from where you are. Open the arms wide. Lower down again. Hovering above your mat. Lower halfway one more time. And let it go. Lower all the way down to your mat. Allow your shoulders to rest into the mat. Allow the heels to press into your mat and let go of anything that no longer serves you. Allow your eyes to close and rest. Acknowledge your body for the work that it has done for you and that it does for you every single day. And this is the start of a new week. So Sunday morning, you have moved your body. You have opened up new opportunities, exchanged your energy, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Keep your eyes tuned. Uh, our group strength lady, Melissa, Judge Melissa, she's an amazing person. She's going to do group strength at 1030. Have a wonderful, wonderful Sunday. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Keep tuned, give us feedback so we know whether we're doing all the right things for you. Um, again, as uh, Kristen said, thank you, Chrissy. Kristen, we are going to have Melissa in here doing our group strength class. So we hope you stay tuned or tune back in for her class. Um, but anyway, stay healthy and, um, and try to stay happy. Yes. Thank you. Be well.